And we was at the uh, Walmart and she was over 21 and they wasn't trying to buy, let her buy no liquor. But when a white guy, he was like 22, he walked up, they let him buy. Olive Garden with my family. And we were just sitting, trying to get our dinner. And then this lady, she was white, and she just did, like refused to serve us. And she would not let us sit down because we were black. And so it was very traumatizing. We got money the same way these white people do, so why we can't eat? You know, I understand why. She was all like, my mom said I can't talk to you because you, cause you are you. I'm all like, what she mean? She all like, because you black. So I'm like blindsided by this because I've never experienced racism before. So I'm like thinking, like, it's something wrong with me. Like, is it just because I'm not a good enough person or is it just because of my, like, skin color? So I saw a, um, a black man put, put the stud, he was starting to punch him and everything. And he was bleeding. And then they kept saying, stop resisting. But he wasn't resisting. He, he did what the officer told him to do. My Caucasian teacher kept on making fun of my hair because it was in a mohawk and ended up sending me to the office. Like seven years old and I was watching a movie. Uh, the movie was called Black Hawk Down. And, uh, it was like, the, it was an army movie and they was doing a mission and the helicopter had got shot down by the Russians. So like the Russian, like the army, they had came and they, they surrounded the airplane with a helicopter. And they put the gun to the white pilot, but they ended up shooting the black pilot. I asked my daddy, I was like, why was it, um, the black pilot killed? He was like, that's how the doctor, director wanted it. I was like, oh. But he was telling me how like racism and stuff was going, racism was going on. I was like, oh, it was kind of sad. I haven't yet experienced racism, but I'm aware of this year that the police harassment is still going on. We played on um, Mount Karma in the open season, and I had friends that was committed to um, Mount Karma, and I felt like, you know, that they was great basketball player, and, I, and, and Mount Karma was a good fit for them. And when we played with them, you know, the team was full of white. And the people that I know that was better in basketball than the people on the court, they were not there and they wasn't suited up in the team. I was just walking down the street and somebody, well, a white man was driving in his car and he yelled out the N-word to me. So then that kind of made me like realize like, wow, racism still is, like, it's still here and we need to like, like get better. He was an old man, he took his money and stuff like that. And then I was thinking about like, we we same color and he, we shouldn't do that to each other. And she worked at McDonald's and this white man said that he didn't want to give her his money because she was black. 